Welcome back to Politically Direct Current TV's coverage of the second presidential debate. We have been having a spirited conversation here about Libya and how the president should handle the incident in Benghazi. And, John, you have some strong views about this. Tell well, us. I do. I think it's going to be brought up, and I think there's two things the president needs to do. I think he'll do one. I'm not sure about the other. Number one, after Secretary Clinton made her comment about I take responsibility, I think the president has to have a buck stops here moment and say that I'm the commander in chief, I take responsibility above my secretary of state. I think it's prudent. I think they're going to be looking for him today to say something about it. But even more so, I'd like to see the president say, you know, when we were attacked by terrorists on 9-11-2001, the Democratic Party didn't use it as a cheap political chip. No one exploited the deaths of 3,000 Americans to get votes, and I mean no one used it against President Bush. What we've seen here is the opposite of our behavior then when we came together as a nation. Here it has been the Republican Party that has divided America, and I I'd like to see him say they've exploited the tragic death of these four Americans. I think if he does that, he can take the narrative back, and also by pointing out, yes, there was confusion. There was bad intel. We know that our embassy in Egypt was attacked over this video, so logically some people thought that that was why we were attacked in Benghazi. Now, when we went into Iraq on bad intelligence, of course, we found out there were no WMDs. It's happened before, but again, we're seeing it being used to divide us now by the Republican Party. I think um, if he, I think you're right, that if he said the buck stops here and takes responsibility for his overall administration, even though he didn't, obviously there was some sort of wall there between the State Departments and, and the White House regarding the intelligence, but he is responsible. Hillary Clinton would not have gone out there, though taking responsibility if the White House didn't know she was going to do that. Good so the question point, is, Granholm. Whether, well, I mean, I just don't I, know whether, whether they're going to do that today since she already took the heat I, off I've them. I've got a different concern. I think you're right conceptually, but I, I'm worried that if he takes the moment to turn it back against the Republicans, he is the one who looks partisan at a moment where to be presidential, he needs to articulate what our foreign policy <laughs> has been and how it has succeeded. Because I think I'm a little worried that that would then play into a Mitt Romney um, response that once again, he's blaming somebody I'm else. Say, but I'm bringing logic in to it, this, and they want him to be a human punching. You've never right been here? in politics. Logic wait, wait, wait. is irrelevant. This <laughs> conversation right here is mirroring the debate coaches' conversations. Ex you you go into right. these debate coaches, and they say, he should do this, and the other one says, well, he should do this, and they completely And they're completely disagree. useless most right. of the time. Well, I mean, and they may be both right, and the president has to make the judgment right. call. Well.